The word, God will keep it. The 400-year history of the King James Bible only movement. By Joey Faust. Produced with the permission of the author, and freely to be downloaded and duplicated in its unaltered and unchanged state. Titus 1-2. In hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie promised. Luke 21-33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Psalms 12-6-7. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Note. The goal of the author has been to quote exactly from sources. Bold and caps within quotes and Bible verses generally indicate emphasis by the author of this book. For information and resources, contact www.fundamentalbooks.com 417-255-5610 Chapter 1. Conditioning for a One World Church Proverbs 24:21. My son, fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. 2 Timothy 3 1. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving, and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 2 Timothy 3 1. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving, and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 2 Timothy 3 1 and 13 through 15, This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving, and being deceived. 13. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. God will keep his word. He preserves its purity from those who seek to destroy it, Psalms 12 6 and 7, Jeremiah 36 23 and 32, Matthew 24 35, etc. This book will reveal the degree that evil men and seducers have labored to change, i.e. corrupt, God's word. And it also documents the multitudes of Christians throughout history that have defended this precious doctrine of Bible preservation. What use is an inspired Bible that is not preserved in purity and perfection? The first thing the Bible teaches about the devil is that he comes to cast doubt upon God's word, Genesis 3 1. He uses men as tools to corrupt the Bible, and his ministers often disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. Satan works to accomplish his plans within Christian churches and institutions, as well as outside of them. For example, Philip Schaff, 1819-1893, was the chairman of the American Standard Version Translating Committee. Quote, he was convinced that such an ecumenical revision would foster the bond of interdenominational and international union. End quote. George Shriver, Philip Schaff, Christian scholar and ecumenical prophet. Schaff's vision for an international union is seen in his final paper that was read at the Parliament of World Religions in Chicago, 1893. Schaff associated with theosophists, i.e. worshippers of Lucifer, that mixed Christianity with Eastern mysticism, and called for an ecumenical council in Jerusalem led by the Pope. See Chapter 14. This plan to use new Bible versions to bring about a final, one world religion, i.e. the false peace of Antichrist, is explained by Manley P. Hall. He has been called the greatest cultist of all. He confessed to channeling the energies of Lucifer, see the lost keys of Freemasonry. Hall also admitted that he, and his associates, had been laboring to change the world through a mass indoctrination program that includes promoting revised versions of the Bible. They worked to change and replace the King James Bible. He writes, quote, The way of, conditioning would be the one used in Central Europe to condition Nazi minds. It there, began in the public schools. And, with the small child, which is where we will have to begin, to make things right we will have to undo much that is cherished error. 
The problem of revising the Bible shows how difficult it is to do this. For the last hundred years, we have been trying to get out an edition of the Bible that is reasonably correct, but nobody wants it. What's wanted, by the majority of people, is the good old King James Version, every jot and tittle of it, because most people are convinced that God dictated the Bible to King James in English, the solution to this whole problem, is, psychology, it should be an absolute requisite of education from the grammar school up, we must begin in the home with small children. And, with the churches teaching the integrity of the religions of other peoples, we have to be conditioned. End quote. Manley P. Hall, Horizon, Asia in the Balance of the Scales, Volume 4, Number 1, 1944. Hall praised the Greek manuscripts, that modern versions are based upon, as the greatest books in the world. Multitudes have become occultists, etc., through believing the lie that there is no perfect Bible. Hall sounds eerily like Philip Schaff and other revised version leaders. Hall praised the Greek manuscripts, that modern versions are based upon, as the greatest books in the world. Multitudes have become occultists, etc., through believing the lie that there is no perfect Bible. Hall sounds eerily like Philip Schaff and other revised version leaders. Quote, the enthusiastic jot and tittle worshipper will insist that the words of the King James Version are the words of God himself. But, every statement contained in the Bible should be checked with the Greek and Hebrew originals, the oldest existing codices of the New Testament reveal considerable change and amendment. The King James Version omits a number of passages, the Bible student is not justified in accepting the King James Version as an infallible production. End quote. Manley P. Hall, How to Understand Your Bible 1942. It is probable that these men, with such diverse backgrounds, were connected and organized more than is often realized, through various secret societies, etc. However, it is certain that the prince of the power of the air, the god of this world, is organized, as he labors to unite men philosophically to accomplish his goals. Things are progressing quickly according to such occult plans. Evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse, deceiving, and being deceived, 2 Timothy 3.13. Yet, in the early 1940s, Hall was complaining that KJV-only-ism was a major roadblock to the devilish goals of ushering in a one-world religion, etc. See Daniel 8.25, Revelation 13 and 17, etc. The great awakening of so many people to the King James-only viewpoint in recent decades continues to be a hindrance to their agenda. The Roman Catholic Connection while many believers are stirring, too many remain asleep. Over a century ago, Roman Catholics mocked the fact that multitudes of Protestant scholars were cutting up their own Bible with destructive criticism. Quote, One thing at least is certain, the Catholic Church will gain by the new revision, both directly and indirectly. Directly, because old errors are removed from the translation, indirectly, because the Bible-only principle is proved to be false, the new version will be the death knell of Protestantism, their fundamental doctrine of verbal inspiration is undermined. End quote. The Dublin Review, Burns, and Oates, 1881. Quote. The Pope is calling on all Catholic lay writers, fear not and shrink not, Catholic America is young. The Reformation, was based upon Bible and Bible onlyism. But now, King Bible and Bible only is dead, having turned destructive critic and sawn off the bow whereon he sat. End quote. John Hannon, The Devil's Parables, 1910 This madness has continued today, causing many people to flock to the Roman Catholic Church, or liturgical forms of worship. They are searching for the final authority that they no longer see in the Bible. Quote, New converts flocking to an ancient church, Orthodox traditions dating back centuries attract members, after thirty years as an Episcopalian priest, Patranic converted to the Antiochian Orthodox Church and leads a new but growing parish in West Houston, filled almost entirely with converts to the ancient faith. Most people come for the stability, he said, members make the sign of the cross throughout the service, they kiss icons of Jesus and the saints and, sometimes, the communion chalice and the priest's robes. End quote. Houston Chronicle, January 9, 2011. Rome grins at this state of affairs, see chapter 4. Quote, the revisers have done an act of justice to Catholics, it is now at length too evident that scripture is powerless without the Catholic Church, 
and it will now be clear to all men which is the true church, the real mother to whom the Bible of right belongs. End quote. The Dublin Review, Burns, and Oates, 1881. Many publishers of new versions want to keep Rome smiling. Quote. The future depends in part on the inclination of the largest religious family, the Roman Catholics, who are the sleeping giant in the Bible market, said Robert Schwalb, Bible manager for Thomas Nelson Incorporated, the nation's largest Bible publisher. Another key to further growth would be the emergence of a translation that can gain broad, long-term acceptance. End quote. Winnipeg Free Press, King James Version Holds On, February 8, 1986. New Version Publishers, for decades, have hoped to gain the approval, and income, of the sleeping giant, Revelation 17, without overly offending evangelical Christians. This is another reason why new versions increasingly affirm Roman Catholic doctrine. This is a dire situation. But is King Bible and Bible only really dead? No, Bible onlyism is also growing. While many are falling away from the truth, a remnant is stirring. The pure word of God is still with us today, and there are many Christians who are certain of it. Isaiah 48. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. 2 Timothy 2 9. The word of God is not bound. Daniel 8 12. It cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced, and prospered. This is a dire situation. But is, quote King Bible and Bible only end quote, really dead? No, Bible onlyism is also growing. While many are falling away from the truth, a remnant is stirring. The pure word of God is still with us today, and there are many Christians who are certain of it. Isaiah 48. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. 2 Timothy 2 9. The word of God is not bound. Daniel 8 12. It cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced, and prospered. The biggest bulwark to the expansions of Catholicism, liberalism, occultism, etc., is an ever-abounding, ever-growing King James Bible-only movement. This Bible is the sword that is feared by infidels and false teachers, Ephesians 6 17. One 19th century convert to Catholicism, i.e. John Henry Newman, admitted that the authorized version is the great obstacle for Rome to overcome. Quote, Dr. Newman has been known to say that our version of the Bible will make it difficult to bring the English people over to Rome. End quote. Anson D. F. Randolph, The Presbyterian, and Reformed Review, Volume 7, 1896. Another Catholic leader also declared that the King James Bible is hindering the goals of Rome. Quote. Canon Barry's, declaration that it is impossible to supplant the authorized version familiar to the English-speaking world, with any new translation, however excellent, has been met with considerable opposition. Others argued that, converts would say that the, Catholic, Church was beginning to give way. But Barry argued that, there is only one English Bible, there can never be another. End quote. The Western World, August 4, 1921. He argued that Catholics should continue in their attempts to change the King James Bible more subtly, rather than attack its authority directly. While these Roman Catholics were discussing the best way to remove the King James Bible from hindering their goals, many Christian leaders were attacking their own fortress with their textual criticism. Satan often seeks to destroy God's people from within. For example, in the Bible, Balaam greedily taught Balak, the king of the Moabites, to destroy Israel by provoking them to commit fornication, so that God would destroy the people in judgment, Numbers 25 1. He taught the Moabites to tempt God's people to forsake the words of the Lord, instead of trying to destroy them through direct warfare, or curses, Numbers 22-25, Jude 1 11, Revelation 2 14. Today, God can ask the same questions of Christians that he asked of his people in the days of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 2. Verse 5. Quote. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? Verse 11. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. 
Verse 13. For my people have committed two evils, they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. Verse 19. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backslidings shall reprove thee, know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter, that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord God of hosts. Verse 28. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble, for according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. Verse 31. O generation, see ye the word of the Lord. End quote. False, so-called Bible versions have multiplied. Many Christians have turned to broken cisterns that cannot hold the water of life. God warns that his fear is no longer found in the land. Among other things, the so-called revised version of 1881 removed the terror of the Lord in 2 Corinthians 5:11, and damnation was downgraded to judgment, etc. Modern versions have followed in this train. Discerning Christians, over a century ago, sounded the alarm against these changes in Bible words to no avail. The tried, tested and true word of God must be rediscovered in its fullness and perfection. Psalms 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Satan will continue to move the entire world toward the final world religion, and he intends to change everything that is associated with the old paths, especially the King James Bible. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Quote, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Verse 17. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Verse 19. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. End quote. Many Christians have been infected with satanic propaganda, disguised as knowledge, progress, etc. In pride or carelessness, they are unaware of the errors already planted within their minds. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Colossians 2.8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Satan, with his propaganda, pretends that dark delusion is enlightenment. Isaiah chapter 5. Verses 20 and 21. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Satan's government is vast and organized. Ephesians 6:12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. His workers are often disguised as ministers of righteousness. 2 Corinthians 11:13 through 15 For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The battle is dreadfully real. This book documents how Satan and his ministers have infiltrated every area of modern culture, including churches, seminaries, etc., with his yea hath God said philosophy. But it also reveals an encouraging number of Christians in history that stood in the way of his plans for change. They boldly resisted his deceptions with simple faith in the sword of the Spirit. Ephesians 6 16 and 17. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God.
Hey guys, thanks for watching uh, the Bible Version Conspiracy. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this. If you liked it, hit the like button as well. That'll be encouraging to me as I make these videos. And if you'll help us by sharing the videos on your social media outlets, it'll help our ministry grow. Any notes for this episode, I'm going to put down in the description box as always. Um, anything else I might have forgotten, I'll also put down there. In advance, I appreciate your response to the question of the day. And if you have any questions for me or comments or anything to add, just go ahead and post it down in the comment section. I'll be checking all of those out and responding. Thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. And as always, remember to read your King James Bible like the devil's after it because it truly is a Bible version conspiracy. Thanks again for watching and we will talk soon. Thank you.